All right, we now have all of the content laid out on the pages. And in this video, I'm gonna go in and start working with the style editor. Now, it is not uncommon uh, that I, after going into the style editor, that I end up changing themes because it's just not looking or it's not doesn't have that feel that I want. And so I always do the <clears throat> framework of the pages before I ever even dive into the style editor because that way if I do install a new theme it's really easy and all that page content just comes over with it and I can quickly see if uh, this is working or not working with this new theme. So we're going to come over here to style editor and I'm actually going to hit control minus so I can get a, get a little bit zoomed out view and see you know if someone had a bigger desktop what this would look like and I'm just going to start going through and messing with this kind of um, with this site. And um, you got to keep in mind that this is changing on every single page. Uh, but we're going to keep it a kind of narrow website. It's kind of the look we're going for. Canvas setting. I'm actually going to try site width. Ooh, I don't like how that's cropped that photo though. So I'm going to have to see if there's anything I can do about that. Canvas offset. I don't really want any canvas offset. Ooh, canvas padding. Again, don't know if I want any canvas padding on this one. Border. Mm, no, we don't want that either. So what we're really going for with the style on this site is a very clean, minimalist style. Uh, and so it generally helps to have some kind of references and everything that you're looking at beforehand. We're going to make our lines and decoration a very light gray. And uh, we really don't like these delimiters up here, so we're going to just kind of get rid of those. Again, the delimiter is that little slash between the navigation. Pretty happy with the header background. The background image, we're actually um, not going to put anything there. If we did put a background image on the header, uh, it would default to that. And But instead, we've kind of designed it so that the page thumbnail is the image. The site title color, again, we're not going to mess with that really because that's um, been replaced by this EC. Page title, we're actually not showing that. Uh, banner area height, this is something I probably do want to play with. Again, so I can choose how big I want this to get. Uh, I actually want it to be kind of small and narrow because mo all the photos here are landscape. So we're going to try to keep it a little short like that. Oop, accidentally clicked over here. Uh, overlay color, again we want this as transparent, we don't want anything there. We're going to keep that banner content empty and we're going to make the page thumbnail as the banner. Now I could be wrong on this, but I think that if I refresh this page that picture should resize. Um, sometimes in Squarespace you really do just have to kind of refresh, yeah there we go. Um, you have to kind of refresh or save and go back to really see the changes actually taking effect. So this is good. This is what I was going for. Um, much smaller, so we're getting closer. Come back into the style editor. Let's see, we've done the header. We are now in the navigation. Navigation link color. And the hover color, we're going to um, make it this pink color right here, which I'm going to come over to Photoshop and pull up this. This is actually very handy if you have some basic Photoshop techniques. Uh, I highly recommend uh, using Photoshop regularly to kind of pull these href colors uh, from your images. So showing you guys a little trick here. For those of you that aren't handy with Photoshop, don't worry. You can eyeball this, but uh, I'm going to use the eyedropper tool grab this color that I want, double click or click there, and I get the little hexadecimal uh, code right here. I copy that, come back over to Squarespace, and we're going to make this the hover color. <clears throat> and actually we're going to make it the active color as well. And it's quite light actually for text. Um, Pull that a little darker. Sometimes you can get away with those subtle things with text, um, with color change, because a lot of, honestly, text is so thin 
that it's very hard to see the color because it's such few pixels. Uh, I'm going to zoom back in a little bit. Yeah, I do like that. I think that's looking pretty good. All right, um, we have our navigation spacing, which again, uh, we do want a little space, but not too terribly much. We can make this logo smaller, or we can make it huge if we want to, but uh, we're going to keep it pretty small and simple. We keep the navigation above the banner, but we are going to move it center. And uh, I'm, this may be a deal breaker for me with this theme, but uh, I kind of want this icon to maybe sit above there. But uh, we're going to keep going for now and just feel it out. Um, okay, we're going to work this navigation spacing a bit more. And I think we're going to make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's a little closer. Canvas background we're happy with. Background image we don't want. Uh, we do want to change all of our headings. And uh, there's two texts, two fonts that I'm looking at. Oop, they don't actually have that one here. So we are going to go with Josephine Sands, a very nice, clean font. We are going to change the thickness to be light and thin. And um, make the text a little bit bigger. And we're just going to make it all lowercase, because she doesn't want all of her titles lowercase. And we're going to space it out just a little bit. Heading 2. You know, I don't know if I'm using a Heading 2 on the site. I'm actually not right now. Um, but just for sake of consistency, I'm going to at least put it in the same font family, just in case it ever does show up anywhere. But right now, I am not using a Heading 2 or a Heading 3 on this site. Uh, we're going to make those just, we're going to make all of these the same, same gray color that we have here. So again, doing the grabbing this hexadecimal number, popping back over here, turn in all of this text gray. And I should probably make that navigation match, shouldn't I? So uh, also you're going to know sometimes you don't get a hexadecimal number, uh, and it does RGBA, and A stands for alpha, which is a level of transparency. Um, so right now if I go and I change this value to a 0.9, it becomes thicker, change it to a 0.1, and it's almost all the way see-through. Or you can use this slider here to adjust transparency as well. We're just going to leave the hexadecimal there. And we've got that color figured out there. Now these colors match. Our body link color, which we can see down here in our footer. Um, we're going to use the same link color that we are using in our navigation. Come down here. Paste that guy. Oop, and somehow I missed the C on him, so I'll have to go back and fix that. Actually, we'll make him go a little darker. Block quote, again, we're not using here. Um, page spacing, this is a big one. It's how much space is between the banner. And uh, we're just going to have about 21 pixels. That looks pretty good to me. Footer text, again, we need to adjust this um, to be the same font. And we can choose the font size and width, line height, letter spacing, all that is good. Keep that aligned center. We can choose if we want this little border and the footer. And I uh, actually kind of like that. I'm going to leave that footer border there. Social icon size, we don't have any social media accounts connected right now. Uh, but if we did, we can have the color show up properly and um, we're just going to have normal social media icons and we're going to put them at the bottom only 
if that's if just if we do decide um, to use those. Blog, we're not going to have any blogging or anything on here right now, so I'm just totally going to skip this. And but our buttons, this is pretty bad right now. This bright green button is not at all what I am wanting. So we're going to again come up here, grab this gray color. button color right there. We are going to make it an outline and we're going to make it a square. So we have this very simple good looking button now. And we're going to change that font to Josephine Sands so it again matches with the other stuff and uh, we're also going to transform it all to lowercase. And yeah, and so there we go. We have now just kind of done our basic styling on our site here. Let's see how this is looking when we come across all these different pages. So again, uh, come up here and honestly, I'm going to fix this footer real quick. It's it's bugging me right now. So we have that saved right there. This contact Elizabeth at the bottom. It's very subtle, but it's there. Maybe I will end up changing that. Not loving this left justification. We're going to put all this stuff center. And this again was what I was telling you about with just trying to figure out what you want on the site. Sometimes you just have to play around with it a little bit. So we're going to move all this stuff to the center. Come back out here. Oh, you know, I don't think I ever actually edited my body text. Somehow I skipped over that. So I'm going to come back down here. The style editor, edit this main content, the body text, which I'm going to try Josephine Sands, but it might just be a little too much, maybe if it's big enough. Yeah, actually I think that does work, I'm liking that. We're going to make it that same gray color as the header though. Oh. And can we actually t text transform? Oh, we can't, so we're going to leave that how it is. And again, this is starting to look like a decent site here. Oh, I didn't do our navigation styles either. So again, it's a, sometimes it's a little bit of back and forth. Somehow I missed adjusting the navigation font. Come to this navigation. And again, we're going to put that as Joseph in Sands. Make it all lowercase. Make the font a bit bigger. Make it thinner though. Probably still a little too big. And we're starting to like how that looks there. All right. So again, we're getting a little closer. It's a lot of back and forth. Just popping in here and seeing what needs to be changed. We'll come to the photography page, and here we have this all of the photography here in these auto columns. I'm going to see if this learn more about Elizabeth works, and that takes us over here to the about page. We can see her artist statement. This takes us right back to the photography contact button at the bottom takes us over to the contact page. And uh, again, you see this one resized as well. And honestly, actually, I would like a photo like this on the About page as well. Uh, we didn't have one here. So I'm going to come back, come to my pages, go to About, and I'm going to upload. Um, we're going to do this one right here. I really like this photo. And we're going to change the focal point to this chair so that it doesn't get cut off at all. All right. I'm going to refresh to make sure that that is positioned properly. And there we go. Uh, we have just added now a basic um, about page to this. 
have her photography, her contact, the welcome, and um, yeah, the photos page. So we have just in a matter of probably less than an hour put together what is a pretty good looking website. Uh, so I hope for seeing you guys, or you guys seeing how quickly this process went helps you realize the potential of Squarespace and how fast you can really work and put something together in this platform.